It's officially the Burr Month, in case you missed it. We're here in the Philippines. People start counting down to the Christmas holidays. And one thing to look out for as you plan your family trips is the Hospitality Industries Annual Sale, which kicked off September 1st. And here to talk to us through this exciting program, we have Celeste Tet Romualdo, the Hotel Sales and Marketing Association Secretary, as well as the General Manager of the Linden Suites. Tet. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Regina. Good evening. Sean. Thank you so much for coming all the way here to talk to us about this. So you call this the SOS, September Online Sale. Tell yes. us all about it. Well, this actually initiative started in 2020 during the height of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We're thinking of way on how to help the hotels and the industry survive. So we thought of coming up with this online platform wherein the member hotels can uh, sell their products including rooms fnb at heavily discounted rates mm -hmm. at the you know at the convenience of their own homes because at the time no one can go out to buy and mm. to, to to travel and um, we started that in 2020 and continued on until this year this is actually our year five already ted wait before we carry on um do you, do, did you plan it really to be on September 1 because it's already officially the Christmas season here in the Philippines? Right, yeah. This is in preparation of the Christmas. Yeah, okay. So. And then, next question would be, during COVID, you went online. But before that, did this sale, this SOS sale already exist or was it only born during COVID? It was born during the, the COVID time. So it, was, it witnessed the survival, the revival and growth of the local tourism. So, so what are we talking about? We're talking about deep discounts to hotels yes, around the country. Up to 75% um, off. We have 85 member hotels and resorts that oh, participated wow. mm. on this year's event. Mm. We're in, it, was the, it was divided into nine clusters from Luzon up to Davao. Mm. And you can see different promotions uh, that you can only find mm. on, this, on our website. What is the website? It's uh, it's actually the hotel sales and marketing website, hsma.org.ph slash SOS. So if I want to buy uh, uh, hotel vouchers that are heavily discounted, that's the, where I have to go. I can't go straight to the hotels themselves. No, no. You have to go to our website, purchase the, the voucher, and mm. then after purchasing, you receive a voucher and then you will call the hotel directly for booking. So you basically oh. buy discount coupons or vouchers right. from the HSMA site. Yes. And then once you have that copy, I'm sure it's like you can screenshot it or save mm, the number. It's... Then you go to the hotel or resort in question, the specific one, and then do ka na book. Yes. Okay. It's of course subject to availability mm -hmm. and subject to close out date, but most of the vouchers are one year or even more in terms of validity so oh i don't have to have dates already no. i can just buy the vouchers and, yes you know for a future trip in mind right. with a future trip in mind and you can also use that as a gift for your loved one so as, right. as mentioned christmas is approaching so it's one of the best gifts that you can give this coming holidays what are some of the popular uh destinations destinations hotels resorts that well, uh based on previous years people have really taken to well, we have a number of hotels from Boracay, mm -hmm. like Crimson, Discovery, Lynn Boracay, that are part of the promotions. We also have, you know, near hotels, like the farm at San Benito is part of the, the promotions. And majority of the hotels in the Metro Manila are also part of the promotions. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pwede staycation. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so people are also buying vouchers for hotels in Metro Manila? Right, oh. including my hotel, the Linden Suites, is also part of the, the promotion. So okay. there are several hotels that you can choose from. And this is the first time that you can see this hotel uh, giving as much as 75% discount. So I hope our viewers won't miss this opportunity to get a good, I'm curious, really good deal. Because uh, every Christmas, I do leave with my family so i'm not sure what happens here you know um do manila metro manila hotels get full like full or filled up because uh, a lot of balik balikbayans also come back during that time right, right? So usually december it... is a peak period but uh that's why we started the sales this month so that they can plan ahead they have to book in advance mm -hmm. because normally the peak period is at 24 the 31st but if i believe if they book in advance and they can you can have a you know, a good you can score a good yes. deal. Mm -hmm. What's been the reception like since you started this program? Well, we started for this year. We started 
this September 1st, and for two days, we're already, we already able to sell like 3 million worth of vouchers. Oh, 3 million wow. pesos yes. worth of vouchers? And for the f past four years, I believe we have sold around 98.3 million revenue. So that's the amount of assistance we were able to extend to our member hotels, especially during the first two to three years of after the pandemic. What does that say about the Filipino traveler? Are you seeing more Filipino travel traveler, uh, you know, visit domestic locations, places, or are they still choosing to go abroad more? When we started, well, it plummeted during the pandemic in 2020, but we have seen a significant increase in the domestic trips. Mm -hmm. From 2022, it went up to 102 million domestic trip to 119 in 2023. We continue. We expect the trend to continue this year, although maybe not at that rate, growth rate, because there are also other options abroad. Mm -hmm. But you know, the reason why we are really pushing for this uh, September sale is because we want to. Fuel, continue to fuel the domestic tourism mm. and entice our Filipino travelers to prioritize our destinations. That's what I wanted to, to ask you about, that. I mean, you've been working in this association for a while, I'm assuming, and uh, yeah. of course, during COVID, biglang nauso yung domestic travel, mostly because people couldn't afford taking 15 days to quarantine in a hotel, right? When you come back from abroad. So parang, sige, domestic na lang, it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my friends, they travel to other f local destinations for the first time ever, right? right? So what new destinations has the pandemic, the lockdown unlocked, based on your observations lang. Well, we have uh, domestic tourists flocking Bohol now, uh, Iloilo, um, even drive uh, within drive uh, distance uh, properties in Batangas. Mm -hmm. So several, there are, there are several destinations that they can explore. What's the, what about the, uh, uh, the, traffic from overseas has it picked up has it gotten back to pre-pandemic levels uh you mean the foreign travelers coming into the philippines okay the last update that i have during our hsma briefing was um we are we are still f far from the, the pre-pandemic uh number hmm. um but i think we will be hitting at least six million international arrival this year. Mm. So a, li a little bit short than our 7.7 .7 million target, but we're getting there. Mm. And we're optimistic that, you know, in 2026, we'll be um, surpassing the 2019 level. What seems to be the holdup in terms of trying to get the numbers back to pre-pandemic levels? Well, one of the thing is the capacity of our airlines. We have, mm. there's limited uh, uh, capacity. Do you mean the flights, the number of flights have not recovered? Yes, yes. Basically. I think it's because of the limited also aircraft. Mm. Yeah. So although we have more hotels now, a lot of new hotels open, but you know, unless we increase the capacity of our airlines or airports, then that's a time that we can accommodate more tourists mm. uh, compared to other ASEAN yeah. you know, neighbors. And maybe also our airports, increase the capacity of our airports. Yeah, airports, <laughs> airlines. So infrastructure still. Infrastructure, So the yes. infrastructure hasn't quite kept up with the demand. Yeah. That's what we're pushing the government to prioritize. <laughs> and yeah. how has that been? Well, Trying there, to work are, with them. Yeah. there are a number of airports being developed. Now there's a privatization that is happening in the NAIA. Mm -hmm. That's why I've heard that some of the flights will be moved to Clark. Mm. But I think, is, I, th I think the are question is... Are you guys is, prepared for that? Because that's yeah. supposed to happen this month, September. Yeah, it will benefit some of the hotels in that area. But I'm not quite sure with the travelers because it's, you know, yeah. going it's to Manila. To <laughs> yeah, it's still a uh, challenge. Wait, so wait, uh, you, we were talking earlier and you, you said you wanted to um, talk a little bit about the revenues of the uh, September online sale. I think we have that as a graphic. If we could just pull that up very quickly. Um, just taking a look at what the numbers are like. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go. There. That's what yeah. I mentioned that we, you know, in four-year time, we were able to generate 98.3 million revenue mm -hmm. for our member hotels. This is just for September, for, for the September, online sale in yes. September. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the past four years. And we're hopeful that we can, you know, achieve a higher revenue this year. Yeah, 98.3. How much are you targeting this year? Well, we're targeting of... 25 million for oh, this, wow. for this for the, year. For the month-long sale. Yes. 
Um, so far, we're at 3 million already for the first two days. What's the general demographic of the people who are buying these vouchers? Are they families? Are they, uh, you know, millennial, Gen Z travelers? Are they couples? Are they business people? What are they? Who are well, they? all of the about different segments. Oh, okay. So we have, we have uh, families, even balik bayans. Mm -hmm. uh, they can so there are foreigners buying also? Okay, is there a way for you to track it since it's online? Yes, we have also have a number of foreign uh, mm -hmm. tourists buying online because it has been an institutional event already. Yeah. So it's it's been four years, so they know the website. And even if it's not September, we have received we have been receiving queries on when can we activate the discounts again. So they're really w waiting for this month, mm -hmm. this period of time for HSMA to to activate the promotions. Kasi nagpaparinig lang sila, Tet, na dapat sa summer din, Naron. Yeah. I know that's peak season also. Mm. But are you thinking about doing oh, yeah. a summer sale? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's one thing that we can consider in the future. But, you know, they can buy their vouchers now and they can it's use it all throughout. Until yes. summer. That's yes. right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said right? it's yeah. one-year validity. Oh. Yeah, it's minimum of one year. And some hotels even extend, even have vouchers without validity. So... And again, uh, if I, for people who want to buy, how, how do they do that? Where do they go? Well, they have to go to the HSMA website, www.hsma.org, uh, .ph plus SOS. And then from there, they can see different destinations, mm -hmm. and then they can just, just choose the promo that they want to avail of. Right, I'm on the website. H it is working. HSMA.org.ph slash SOS. And again, there's hotels. Uh, on sale up to 75% off all across the nation. Yes. In, across Luzon besides It's a total of 85 hotels and resorts. Look at this. Eight participating hotels in Boracay, nine participating right. across Palawan, Leyte, and Davao, ten in Cebu, seven Manila and Makati. So, six it's, in Boholi, yeah. It's pretty... It's pretty well yeah, spread I'm not out. Even done. Right. And, and it ends September 30th. Midnight of September 30th. Midnight so. of September 30th. So, they have until then to book there do do are they rationed though or are there certain rations for some of the mm -hmm. more popular hotels like for instance the ones in boraca you mentioned are mm -hmm. there limited number of vouchers or people well it can depends just on the properties buying? because uh i know they have uh limited allotment for some of the really nice promos yeah. so mm. better start buying them. you need some pretty like fancy hotels yeah. really nice hotels yeah and if you could get them at 75 percent right. off why not oh, right yeah. okay uh we're gonna have to leave that there thank you so much for joining us thank tonight celeste tet romualdo the hotel sales and marketing association secretary and also general manager of the linden suites